I'm going to read a poem to you, but I want to uh, tell you a little bit about it before I before I get into it. And it's uh, in the men's group. I speak probably sometimes about these things, and it's just a, probably the centerpiece of my life. What I'm interested in. What is the the core of me? When I when I was young, a uh, little kid, and, and throughout my life, um, I've heard references right to heaven, nirvana, uh, being Christ, becoming a son. Uh, peak experience, nirvana, satori. There's the story of the ten ox herding pictures and how in, in Zen, in Taoism, there's the recognition of something and then the movement around until you recognize you are, you are that thing. This kind of idea, uh, Joseph Campbell and the hero's journey and some of the ideas that he took from Jung uh, in archetypes and how we interact with these things and become these things, right? Or recognize that we are these things. I think it's the perennial philosophy. Aldous Huxley uh, wrote a book called The Perennial Philosophy. This spoke about this philosophy of humanity where we recognize something, something larger than ourselves that we find is more ourselves than what we thought was ourselves. And then this quest to become that and to, to work with that. But there was one guy early on who spoke to me from that place. Uh, it was Walt Whitman. And uh, he's just been my, my favorite poet. I, just, I think he spoke the, the soul of godhood on earth as, as a human being. So the poem is One Hour to Madness and Joy. One hour to madness and joy. Oh, furious. Oh, confine me not. What is this that frees me so with storms? What do my shouts amidst lightnings and raging winds mean? Oh, to drink the mystic delirium deeper than any other man. Oh, savage and tender makings. I bequeath them to you, my children. I tell them to you for reasons of bridegroom and bride. Oh, to be yielded to you, whoever you are. You to be yielded to me in defiance of the world. Oh, to return to paradise, oh, bashful and feminine. Oh, to draw you to me, to plant on you for the first time the lips of a determined man. Oh, the puzzle, the thrice tied knot, the deep and dark pool, all untied and illumined. Oh, to speed where there is space enough and air enough to last. Oh, to be absolved from previous ties and conventions, I for mine and you from yours. Oh, to find a new one thought of nonchalance with the best of nature. Oh, to have the gag removed from one's mouth. To have the feeling today, or any day, I am sufficient as I am. Oh, something unproved. Something in a trance. Oh, madness, amorous. Oh, trembling. Oh, to escape utterly from others' anchors and holes. To drive free. To love free. To dash reckless and dangerous, to court destruction with taunts and invitations, to ascend, to leap to the heavens of the love indicated to me, to rise thither with my inebriate soul, to be lost if it must be so, to feed the remainder of life with one hour of fullness and freedom, with one brief hour of madness and joy. <laughs> 